I'm gonna be real y'all I have gone through it this week it's been rough <laughs> so that's why it's been a good minute I think that I might start just doing these on the weekends because work is work you know and I've been going through all kinds of other things outside of work so if you want to hear about it I could like make another video but that is not for this video um I remember very little of what I covered last time honestly but we're moving on um this section is called surrogate activities let's find out what that is okay so surrogate activities point 38 he's basically saying like if you have got all your needs taken care of if you don't have to worry about like food water shelter like securing those things for yourself you're gonna find other things to focus on and a lot of times like the ones that he cites here are like good things you know like learning a trade um advancing a field math science literature that kind of shit which like yes we should be meeting everyone's needs so that we could advance as a society like more quickly because that would like leave more people open to do stuff that like we need to get done okay so point 39 he defines what a surrogate activity is and basically a surrogate activity is a goal wait no sorry it's <laughs> it's an action devoted to reaching a goal that is not like food water shelter basic shit and he acts like oh you just set this goal because you like wanted something to do and there's no like real purpose behind it and it's like maslow bitch like it doesn't end at the bottom rung and he like elaborates on that by saying like a, what is the word he uses like extraneous activity surrogate surrogate activity he says that if you had to spend all of your effort, your time and energy on getting like food, water, shelter, and you didn't have time to do this, like, would you feel unfulfilled? Would you feel like you had been deprived of something? And if the answer is no, then it's a surrogate activity, which like, I feel like the, in that case, the definition of a surrogate activity could be different for everyone. Like he assumes that the things that he values are the things that everybody else values and that's like not really the case in modern industrial society only minimal effort is necessary to satisfy one's physical needs maybe for you like i i don't know if he grew up wealthy or what his situation was i mean he was probably pretty like pretty privileged because he went ivy um but like a lot of people still devote like most if not all of their time meeting their basic needs like i work 50 hours a week um and i know a lot of people at my job who like they get off work and they go to another job and that's like all they do oh yes there is an underclass that cannot take the physical necessities for granted but we are speaking here of mainstream society i mean like how do you define mainstream society? Like, I think that he is making these sweeping statements, assuming that everyone else's experience is the same as his, and it's just not. Okay, so he lists all these things, scientific work, humanitarian work, art, literary creation, climbing the corporate ladder. Like, a lot of these things are jobs that people do in order to survive. So they're not really surrogate activities. And also, like, he says, oh, like, people really do scientific work for, like, the sake of their satisfaction to themselves. It's like, no, like, a lot of people just, like, want to cure cancer. You know, <laughs> like, that's pretty important. So he's basically making the argument that we would be more fulfilled if we spent all of our time, if we had to spend all of our time working on pursuing our real goals which is like food water shelter etc which like no like <laughs> i just don't believe you and he's not really making like he's saying well people who like follow these other goals they're never satisfied and it's like okay but if you are pursuing your biological needs like you're never satisfied either because once you finish pursuing your biological needs you move on to pursuing your um supplementary goals or whatever the fuck like that's why we have them 
And um, the next section is called Autonomy. And goodbye.